Welcome everybody, this is Nairi and this is my latest project. So this was the commission um, for somebody for their mum and as you can see it's Peter Rabbit. So I've done some 3D effects on the front with some moss, a bit of bling, some flowers and this lace. Then on the side we've got outside beaded signatures. So it's just two signatures but it's still quite a big journal. And on the back we've got some original Peter Rabbit. I've used a vintage lace for a tie and it seems to be holding fine and I'll bet you I've done this in a double knot. No, I haven't. That's good. So I've already done a Peter Rabbit journal before. I think when people see um, on TikTok when I've got them pinned, they get the idea of Peter Rabbit. They know I've got the kit. So I've already done a Peter Rabbit, but this one's just completely different. So whilst I'm using the same kit, it's got different images in it, it's got different scrapbook papers, so it's it's nothing like the other one that I've done. And the other one I did, I think, was three signatures. So there's the signatures there. Let's see if you can see them there. Um, my, two, my two signature journals are 80 sides, and then my three signature journals, 120 sides. So that's how I work out the pricing as well. So we've got like an eclectic mix of tags that have got Peter Rabbit images from the books of these stuff from actual books and my kit and then papers so it's got like a mix of everything and then we're using a mix of vintage lace and newer lace to kind of you know give it a, a more vintage look I've also used coffee dyed papers which are quite heavily coffee dyed so that gives this one has a real like vintage vibe with it um, and then we've got these Stamperia papers here my goodness I can't remember what they're called sunflower something or other uh, so yeah so I've mixed up things okay so again originally from one of the books and we've also got different papers here that's from a different collection so yeah four or five different things going on uh, because I don't like to use just kit in my my um, journals I like to use a mixture of um, images because I just think when you turn the page you want a surprise. It's a little bit of stamping going on there. Stamping, stenciling going on there. So you can see how dark these coffee dye papers are and I really like them. Uh, so yeah, these these ones have got lots of sunflowers on but they're very gardeny type images. And then we've got some acetate there. Page from my kit. Uh, I went to town with this collage envelope got a tag in there. I haven't used so many paper clips this time because actually things seem to be holding in okay. That's definitely a piece of vintage lace there. And again stuff from the book, you know some writing from the book, images from the book and then on the back obviously it's it's quite busy but I still think you could write on there. Some sorry silk. I can't write on the back of there but it's open for someone to put something on the back. I mean, you do the journals and then people make them into their own. Like there's quite a lot of space behind some of these tags look for writing. So you've got the tags to write on, but you've got space behind. And people say, well, it's not like a writing journal. No, it's not like a writing journal. I don't make them like that. If you want that, then you're going to go for someone who, who literally maybe puts a mixture of a kit in and plain pages and then you have like loads of, of loads of writing space but I'm not that type of journal maker but they are out there so you can always find someone who will do it the way that you want to do it so we get to the middle of the signature and then we have beaded signatures on the outside of the journal which I've shown you and also beads for the inside of the signatures so I like to show my strings, I like to show them outside the, you know, outside the journal, I like to show them hanging down from the journal, kind of like that, I suppose slightly boho look. Um, all my journals I say are like that, some more than others but they're all a bit like that. Um, quite free uh, with the way that I'm using kits and quite free with materials and stuff like that because because not because because I like texture in my journals so that, that's what I'm going for and again 
that might not be something that you like. It might be you love it, you hate it, but you, if you are thinking of making a journal, so you pull that and you get that behind, or buying a journal, then you find the person that does it the way that you like it, and you, you know, try those things out. There's some stuff there. There. Excuse me. Get the gist of where we're going with this. This is a nice tassel place. So again, this is from my kit. I think the acetate might need re-sticking down. I think I might have used um, like ordinary strong glue, but it probably needs a Fabri-Tac glue. As with everything, I think when you start to use fabrics and different types of textures in your journal, then you're going to need the different types of glues to go along with it as well. So we're on our second signature now. I've got this nice lace. That's a pocket with something in it. There we are. In some of my early journals, some of the whopping great things I did, I used to have lots and lots and lots of lace pockets in and stuff the pockets, but the, the issue with that was actually the journal would be so bulky. So I do think that this is a big journal, but I do think it's it stayed under control <laughs> a little bit. And I have got pages like that where I put something on it, but there's nothing else on there. So um, I'm trying to control my my um what's the word I'm looking for tendency what's it tendency to overfill um I think I'm getting a little bit better at that controlling that so there we are to the middle of this and try to put some little stickers on that again I don't mind using stickers in my journals I don't use them that much but occasionally I think they're all right so it's the middle of the signature there nice little door flap so the idea that I'm going by is like, it, I want it to look a little bit junky. I want it to look um, like, you know, it's old. Uh, again, everyone's different. Nice pieces of old paper in there. There we are. Another lace pocket. Something inside. This is Tiggy Winkle. She's my favourite. I think we're nearly there now. Nice blank pages there. And at the back we've got a little booklet. Which has got some of the original book in it as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that flip through. So if you don't follow me, please do. Uh, please subscribe. And uh, I tried to show you all the journals. I used to do more videos with techniques. But if I'm honest with you, I've got so many commissions that I'm now showing like finished journals. Sorry, I want to get this back in. I'm now showing the finish. Oh, that's why. I'm now showing finished journals rather than techniques. So I hope you forgive me for that. So yeah, there's my Peter Rabbit commission, and the next one I'm on is for Monica, and she's asked me to do lighthouse, ocean, mixed images. So I'm looking forward to doing that one, and then I have another commission after that. So very exciting. I'll see you. Oh, do that in a minute. See you the next time. Thank you.